in the morning. Rick and Papa in the house. Everybody now. Come on. Rick and Papa in the morning. Rick and Papa in the house. Let's see more vibrato. Here we go. Rick and Papa in the morning. Rick and Papa in the house. Rick and Papa in the morning. Yeah, Lindsey Graham has, has went to being, you know, what we would call a rhino or, you know, kind of a... Oh, yeah, man. Know, he was, and, and now he's completely flipped and is... I don't know. But does it go back to what we say? He realized he's checked the air and the wind. And yeah, the way I, he I, I think a lot of times politicians just go, all right, be nice to me. Oh, whoa, so be... Whoa, fight hard. Okay, I'm fighting hard now. Yeah. Uh, I need to be for this. Okay, I'm for it now. Yeah. You See, weren't for it before, yeah, but I mean, you're now. so the opposite. Even though his opinions now I agree with, but yeah. he was always the opposite. It makes me larry. Yeah. Well, great. It's just politics. I don't know how to break this to you, but I know you know this because you said you said it loud and clear. They're really there to yeah. stay where they are, and they do whatever they have to do to stay where Whatever's they are. Whatever's popular. Keep Whatever's yeah. popular. Not all. Not all of that way, but the the majority. A lot of them. Yeah. That's why it's so hard to. Yeah. To make a, a lot of change, but the founders set it up where they can only do so much. But but, but some are there just to make a really good living and to, to write a few books and to get a lot of perks. And so you you do whatever you have to do to stay there. So wait, Hillary was on Stern, Greg? Yeah, he did a sit down interview with her the other day. How's that? Course. I bet hey, that was here's, riveting. Here's a great question, as if we didn't know the answer. He asked her, "The economy booming like it is, was that?" Because of Trump, or was it because of Obama? What do you think she said? Rick and Papa in the morning. Rick and Papa in the house. Y'all want a cupcake? We got hot chocolate, eggnog, mint chocolate, and gingerbread. Anybody want a cupcake? We got hot chocolate, eggnog, mint chocolate, and gingerbread. You know, I would, but I'm cutting back. I can't do it. Yeah. Jump yeah, in here. Please. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, right, before anybody moves, I can't look at it. I know how this no. goes. Yeah. Yeah. Rick and Papa in the morning. Because I told Tom to tell me before they did it, but today they're flying TV antennas on a helicopter he over to our town. About that. I don't know if you want to get out there and get some video of that. I just think that would be funny. I kind of want to go see it, but I got to go the other direction today. Rick and Papa in the morning. Rick and Papa in the house. All right, guys, remember earlier when I offered you cupcakes? Okay, well, I'm offering you cupcakes again, and this time they're actually from a person that's here right now. Okay, so it'll be awkward if you don't take some, all right? Rick, today we have gone high-tech in the next generation. This is the Nixplay Smart Photo Frame. Now, Rick, you go, how could a photo frame yeah. that's, uh, that's 9.7 inches be a three hundred and twenty nine dollar value. Hello. Whoa. Well, I tell you why. This is a smart frame. It hooks to the internet, has an app that comes with it, and when you load something on the app, it goes to the picture frame, no matter where it is. Wow. Well, if you had one of these, you would abuse it. Wouldn't you? You'd Greg, be sending no. all kinds of weird pictures to people, no, surprising them, Greg. calling it well, art. To do. Here we know that Christmas will be green. All right, Mindy, what's, what we got going on this here? This is for you. This okay. is for me? That's for you. Oh, the Auburn family really is a family. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, wait, this is for the baby? Oh, oh, this is for the baby. You on the phone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, thank you. 
Oh, bye bye. You too. Yes, sir. No, sir. That was Adler. That wasn't. No, sir. It wasn't me. That was Adler making a funny sound. I, this is my dad. Oh, He's I'm making so Making a funny sound with his mouth. Yes, sir. You gotta watch that. And your favorite Greg was making fun of you earlier. No, I was not. Yeah, he was making fun of you. In, in your eyesight. You see, first of all, I hope he's hung up. He is yes, hung sir. up. He's hung up. Okay. Hey, Greg, he wants to talk to you, by the way. Hey, he wants to talk to you. Hey, Mr. Wilburn. Huh? You, you, you better you better not be making a glass. Pick it up. <laughs> you know I didn't make fun of you. He gets scared of my dad. He got us that one day. What was it about the, the seventh day app with the Nazarene? The Nazarene. Yeah. He claimed we played with snakes or something. Yeah, I cracked a good joke. Rick's was worse. He said David Koresh. Or did I say David Koresh? Buddy, I think you did. One of us did. One of us said no, Snake. One of us said you. Snake. One of us said David Koresh. All you. Don't, bar, don't blame I was Big little Brother. Greg, I, uh, <laughs> you see little Greg sitting in his chair that day? Microphones were big. You walked under the chair, actually. I did. Malakaliki <laughs> Maka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas to Speedy inherited over greeting from his parents. Mm -hmm. And that, that was passed on to him. Is there something that you have inherited from your parents? An inability to tolerate stupidness. Uh, my, my, my parents were obsessed with stamping out stupidness in a very harsh, straightforward way. Um, and I, I find myself sometimes uh, realizing that I can, uh, I don't know if you, I mean, people say, that at times I can be a bit harsh when addressing stupidity. Um, and uh, I've worked on my general spirit. Uh, I, it's one of my toughest sanctification uh, process uh, moments is, is general spirit. But I think I've gotten better, but I see that a lot of times I say things exactly like my mom and dad said them when taking on stupidity. And uh, maybe I could be a little gen more gentle at times. Is there something that you have inherited from your parents? Have you ever met my father? I have. I think. Yeah, I've heard a lot from him. He'll, he'll, for better or for worse, he'll, he'll shoot you pretty straight. And he likes to point things out that he doesn't like and doesn't really care if anybody hears it. So yeah, I probably got a lot of that. What's the most like obvious time or the worst time that your dad pointed out something? At a ball game one time, and it was at a big stadium, but it was a small college plan, so there wasn't a huge crowd there. So we got tickets ahead of time, and we get there. And we look at our ticket number and it's beside a person that he doesn't like. He looks at me, he goes, 75,000 seats in this place, I gotta sit by this son of a gun. Right in the man's face. <laughs> Did he say son of a gun? No, I cleaned it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's another thing I inherited. <laughs> I inherited something from my parents too, especially my dad. Your height? Your hair. <laughs> my hair for one thing, buddy, so okay. be jealous of that. <laughs> okay. Second, um, my dad will go too long on jokes. Like, he'll do the joke, everybody sees it, he gets the laugh, and then he keeps going okay. with it. Yeah. Okay. In fact, he was doing this stupid dance at my brother's wedding, like snaking his way through the people, doing it. And my mom literally yells, everybody saw it, Michael! Everybody saw it! Another thing that I learned from my dad, it's masterful, and that is the ability to pretend like you know people you don't know. I mean, the, the key is to be loud. If you see, hey, boy, and you don't, you don't use names, you'll be, how you doing? You don't stretch out and say things like, how's your mom, because she could be dead, or they, you know, it could be, could be a situation. You don't do anything that's specific. You just make a lot of noise, and if you grab them and shake their body around and hit them on the back, whoa, good to see you, man. Bubba, Speedy says that he inherited being an overgreeter from his parents. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you inherited from yours, just being around them growing up? Oh, absolutely. Being kind, gentle, humble, modest, devilishly good looking. <laughs> Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. He's a mystery man. He is a mystery man is what he is. He's a mystery man. So Rick, the um, the person that paid off all the layaway stuff at Walmart, mm -hmm. have you ever had anything like that happen to you? Uh, other than uh, the only thing I've ever had, you know, the biggest one was Jesus paid my biggest debt, and that was a big one. Uh, but in the worldly sense, um, no, I've had people who picked up my lunch or picked up dinner with my family. Like I, the, the person serving us comes over and says, oh, by the way, 
this is handled. So I have had that, but that's about as big as it gets. But I'm gonna tell you what, that's, you really appreciate that because no matter how big or small it is, that's a pretty kind gesture for anybody to do that on any level. So it's, it always means a lot. Hey, did y'all hear about that uh, person paying off the layaway at Walmart for yeah. all those people? That's yeah, why. Who didn't do it? That's why we. Anyway, that's why I was calling him mystery man. He's a mystery man. Uh, yeah, you know what? If they came to me and said, "Do you have any guesses?" I, I would right. say, "I can tell you who it was." not Hey, guys. I mean, that, hey, I'm right here. Seriously, right here. Swear. Right here. Why would he pick an Aniston? Yeah. What? Man. Who? What? what? Hey, what's wrong with Aniston, there? Greg? Somebody tried to say. Maybe that's where he lives. Somebody, Greg. Somebody yeah. What's wrong with Aniston, wrong? Greg? No, no. He said Greg, he heard wrong? it was Kid Rock, and I said, "Why did he pick Aniston out of the whole state?" Because he does have some property in South Alabama. That's an old fact. You think he'd be down there where his property is? But right. my point is, I'm just like saying. Aniston. I wonder why he. If, first of all, I don't think he's so got you're, a mojo. So you're better than everybody in Aniston. Right. Basically. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> Kid <laughs> Rock. Valley, man. Is, if Kid Rock we'll came to Alabama, what would make him go? I tell you, the Walmart. I'm picking Aniston. He may have a tie. I don't know. Y'all, so, he grew up in Oxford and hated all, Aniston. I, that's I, basically I, what I don't, happened. I, don't, I, I actually live. Oh, get yeah, careful! I drive through it all the time. Really. You ever notice that? You never notice that about Kid Rock? He looks freaking awesome with sunglasses on. He takes them off, you're like, his eyes are a little too close that together. dude's just some kind of redneck guy. His eyes are a little too close together. Yeah. What, what if he's watching this? What if he was the guy that paid off everybody in Anderson, even though Greg thinks he's better than everybody That's in Anderson? That's not Anderson. what I said. Y'all are missing the <laughs> point. Hey, hey, he drives through Anderson. Greg drives through Anderson. Oh, yeah, but yeah, you don't stop. You never <laughs> stop. stop. You stop. never stop. say hi to food and go to Walmart. Because you're better than everybody else, mystery man. Have you guys ever had anything like that nice happen to you in your life? No. Mm -mm. No. Talk like pay something off. Anything like other that. Than, at all. Other than having the person. I went a little quick. Me at the drive-through, pay for my food. That's about it. I have had that happen. You have had that happen. I've never had that happen. Let me ask yeah. you this. I paid did you pass it on? Did you pay for the one behind you? Oh heck no. I paid okay. for what? I know he I didn't, didn't either. I paid for somebody's toll Actually, bridge. Actually, maybe I did. When I was in Pensacola. For their what? Toll bridge, they do that. Unless like when you're going through. Bricks. Oh, oh, so you paid that. You thought toilet bricks. <laughs> so you paid I've what? never said two dollars for somebody. Two dollar fifty. Yeah, a dollar an animal. I went step out there. Speedy. Hey. Hey. That <laughs> Walmart ain't nothing. Whoa, man. Hey, what was that? What was that? Car change? You don't have your wallet? Like, One time I told somebody behind the counter to keep the change. It was like 18 cents. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Speedy. Hey. I'll just, I'll just turn to me. Ricky Papa in the morning. Hey, seriously though, if you would, call him back. That Bigfoot guy? No, no, my dad is in the first jacket. The, uh, all right, so this, uh... <laughs> I, I should have known that. <laughs> if you were a flasher, you got the right jacket. <laughs> It's gonna sound like a stupid question, but what's a flasher? Oh, uh, flasher, you, like, you they're, like flash. They're naked, yeah, they flash. Yeah, okay. That was against the law, actually. They got, that was good. Trust me.